bugging me, so I'm going to test two more rings again. The one that didn't work, which was driving me crazy. I don't understand why, unless it was rubbing on the ring, on the, the jewelry part, but... Or maybe I just rubbed it on my arm where there was no powder. I did put foundation on first. You really only need the powder. Any mineral makeup should work. So I'm just going to make sure. Can you imagine going to a place where you're looking at jewelry like a, like a, I don't know, a flea market or something like that. And you're going through the old antique jewelry and you start rubbing it on your arm. <laughs> what are you doing? Testing for silver. Alright, so I'm going to test this one first. This is a real thick one, supposed to be silver as well. Stamped. It's a good stamp, but that doesn't mean anything usually. Well, sometimes it does. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. AliExpress ring, people. Same diff. That is so weird. It's only the thick ones. Alright. Well, I won't be buying from him again. This one is not from AliExpress. This is from my real guy. Maybe he doesn't know. But that's a real jeweler's mark, so they must have a coating or something on it. I don't know. Oh, there you go. Okay. It's not dark, though. But it is showing. I almost want to, like, scratch it. <laughs> Yeah, it's showing up very light. There we go. See, you know, here, yeah, let's rub. That is the strangest thing. It is showing up now. I don't know what's going on, though. But, it, yeah, it's showing up black. Not black, black. But it's definitely leaving. I don't even know if you guys can see that right there. See, it's all... It, it did show, so I'm going to try this one again. This one's got a... Um, a stamp, but it's, well, it's very, very thick, but mind you, this could be a filled ring, which is still should show up, um, somewhat silver. My body hormones are very strange, too, so. Yeah, I don't know if I trust this one. Okay, well, the one in question yesterday, it did work. It's all right there but this one which is aliexpress and i have found a couple times i've bought like three rings from aliexpress i will be i'll admit it because the price was like it wasn't cheap but it was like oh okay and then um you know everything about his feedback and all the reviews and everything was great and um it just said you know pure 925 blah 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 but I noticed in a couple of his other listings, he's got filled, or like rhodium filled, or a white gold filled, or something. So if it's filled with white gold, although gold is supposed to show up too, so I don't know. Maybe there's a coating on these so that it doesn't tarnish. Maybe something, maybe that's how they scam you. I don't know, but I'm not going to be buying from him again. So, you know, do you compromise and say, oh, I want the good the good stones and the crap ring, or do you want... No, I'd rather have crappy stones, or not real stones, and, and then I'd have real silver. But, yeah, that one ain't working. But the one in question from yesterday, thank God, because that's my good guy. It worked. Okay. I feel a bit better now. I think I was rubbing where the stones were. Like, I was trying to rub right here, and it's a lot less... Um, a lot less metal service and then you know here is little but I was rubbing right here just now and it worked so yeah okay we're okay that one is okay so I don't have to give up my guy <laughs> thank God but this one I would seriously guys question Aliexpress I thought I'd give them a try just because but I've heard some I mean it's a super pretty ring and it's not tarnished because I've worn it for a while just to test it but I think they just code it, so it's got to be filled. Hard to say. But anyways, at least this good guy and my good jewelry guy is good, so we're okay.